Hey everybody, it's Jay Kitchen from jaysbeard.com. I hope you're doing well today. We're doing a review of a scent that has been on a lot of comparison videos because this is something called Gisada Ambassador Intense. Before we jump into the review and commentary, if you could be kind enough to subscribe and smash that thumbs up button, we would really appreciate it. It really helps us move up in the rankings and get in other people's feeds and recommended video streams. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is Jusada Ambassador Intense. I have to be very honest, I bought this by mistake. I was looking for the original Jusada Ambassador to try. I had read, not read, but I had heard something about it on a number of different fragrance channels on YouTube. Curly Fragrance, a couple of others, and then you started seeing the the sort of comparisons between the original Ambassador and the Ambassador Intense. I was unfamiliar with either of them, with the brand. Now you have to understand that I do these reviews for you guys, but also for me because I've been out of the fragrance game for about 10 years since I left New York City. And I really do enjoy them. And I'm kind of at a point in my life where I'm having the time to really kind of explore things. So this is as much an exploration of smells and scents for my selfish purposes as it is for informing anybody else who has any interest in this kind of stuff. So I try not to be too snobby about it because it certainly can tend to be pretty snobby and you see a lot of sniping on the internet about this person is shilling for that house, this person never says anything bad about anything, so on and so forth. Well, I can promise you that I'm not getting paid by anybody to do these. I'm paying for the fragrances myself. And these are really my honest opinions about what I think of them. Now, bearing, bearing that in mind, understand that everybody's body chemistry is different. Everybody's receptors are different, what they like, what works for them, that sort of thing. So it's a pretty subjective kind of exercise, to be very honest with you. We picked up this decant of Jusada Ambassador Intense from a place called Scent Split, where they will break off basically anywhere between one to nine milliliters of a particular fragrance and charge you. You can also get the full 50 or 100 milliliter bottle, whatever the fragrance may come in. Here's a picture of the decant that we got. Now, before we start spraying randomly or not so randomly on ourselves, let me read a little bit from the Jizada website about this scent. This is an Eau de Parfum. Jizada Ambassador Men is known for its timeless elegance and is suitable for different situations day or evening. This fragrance is aimed at men who want to embody self-confidence and a sense of style. Now this again was for the ambassador, not the ambassador intense, but I suspect the language is probably the same. The top notes are licorice, Guatemalan cardamom, nutmeg, incense, pink pepper, lavender, ginger, alemi, mandarin orange, ozonic notes, and bergamot. The middle notes are raspberry, caramel, cinnamon, cloves, jasmine, geranium, orchid, heliotrope, and freesia. The base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, amber, patchouli, cashmere wood, leather, musk, Haitian vet ver, oak moss, and labdanum. It seems like a whole lot of things going on in this. And you know, when you have that many kind of notes, I'm suspecting I'm gonna get a little bit confused when I start smelling this. Now there have been a ton, and I mean a ton, of comparisons of this to Dior Sauvage. Now I've never used Dior Sauvage. I think that's the cologne that Johnny Depp promotes. I'm not positive about that. But people are very, very opinionated about this, the regular Ambassador and Dior Sauvage. So let's try this. It's in the container. It definitely has a sweet kind of almost candy smell to it. I'm gonna spray it on my forearms and then on my neck. So these little decants, you get a decent amount of juice in them. Two there, two there. We'll do one on the back, one on the front. Let this dry down for a little bit. 
we're, we're accelerating the evaporation of the alcohol, maybe, by doing this. Either that or we're trying to take off like a helicopter. I'm not sure which. It's got a very nice, it's a sort of a fresh but sweet and fruity sort of a scent to it right off the bat that's kind of flowing out. It is room filling. That is definitely for sure. I am picking up some of the grapefruit in the top notes. Now, a lot of people refer to this as, as smelling synthetic. I'm not picking that up, but maybe my nose is just not as finely tuned as other people's out there, other, as they call themselves, frag heads, fragrance heads. I like this smell right out of the container. It's a little bit strong in the sense that it's really very voluptuous. It's, there's a lot here. It's, uh, it's like a... Its presence can't really be avoided. Some people may think it's too sweet for them. Personally, uh, this level of sweet is good for me. You know, the burnt sugar or sugar cane that I was smelling on an oud fragrance the other day and the other review that I did on the uh, Arabian's Tonka, it was much sweeter smelling than this. This is, and that was a much kind of a darker perfume. This I could, I could feel would be nicely worn summertime, evening. A lot of people say don't put it on your clothes because it won't leave. It'll stay there forever. Uh, again, that remains to be seen and everybody's experience is different. The price point on this for a 50 milliliter container is 99 US dollars. The 100 milliliter is considerably less in terms of proportion. It's only about $140. I am pretty sure you could probably find it discounted. Now the five milliliter glass sprayer that I just used, that was $17.99. And that's good for a minute. That's got a fair number of sprays in it. And I honestly, my budget is not willing to part with a hundred bucks for a fragrance that I'm not really sure about. So if you are serious about getting into fragrances, I really highly recommend places like Scent Split or there are other decanters. Um, these guys claim that they're 100% authentic. A lot of the reviewers on the web refer to them and use them. So far, so good. I've not had a problem with them. On the Scent Split website, they do have a whole kind of description, which I'm going to read and I'm going to kind of compare notes with it. Designed for the man who revels in his masculinity, appreciates contemporary elegance, and cherishes a robust, well-rounded scent, this perfume is the embodiment of intensity and vivacity. With an olfactory signature that balances spicy freshness and an energetic liveliness, Gisada Ambassador Intense is an intense iteration of sophistication and charm. This modern fragrance is as versatile as the man wearing it, effortlessly transitioning from casual day outings to more formal evening events. The scent journey of this perfume begins with a captivating fusion of fresh notes that exude an immediate allure. Subtly interwoven are floral undertones that add a layer of complexity and refinement. As the journey evolves, the scent culminates into a powerful base of woody notes, establishing an intoxicating, long-lasting aroma that lingers in the air, leaving a trail of compelling magnetism. This Eau de Parfum is the quintessential choice for the perfume connoisseur seeking a deep, immersive fragrance experience. Despite its intensity, Gisada Ambassador Intense maintains an alluring charm, making it an excellent choice for casual wear. With its long-lasting scent profile, this perfume is particularly suitable for evening wear or for colder seasons, radiating warmth and intrigue. Its potency is daring, its allure irresistible, and its effect magnetic. Shizada Ambassador Intense is not just a fragrance. It's a statement of boldness, challenging the wearer to step into their power, confront new challenges, and exhibit a level of audacity unseen before. So wear it daily, embrace its invigorating energy, and let the world experience your potent charisma. This is Shizada Ambassador Intense, the ultimate scent of a modern man. Now, this was released in 2022, so it's relatively new. The so-called nose behind it is a chap named Olaf Larsen. I am definitely getting that kind of opening burst that they describe in the description. I mean, the descriptions that are in these websites and perfume houses are incredibly flowery and descriptive, and they are really good at sort of conjuring up images in your head of what you should be smelling when you spray this juice. It's strong. It's definitely not for a younger person. I don't think anybody under 30 should necessarily wear this. It's 
this says it's for men, but as I've said before, I think if a fragrance works for you, whether you're man, woman, whatever, it works just fine. Scents are scents. Might it smell more masculine-ish, whatever that is, or more feminine-ish, whatever that is? That's up to the, the smeller <laughs> to determine and, you know, make their own mental note about it. I do like it. It is pretty intense. I'm going to go do some errands, run around, and see how it lasts. And uh, we will come back and give a wrap-up. Don't go anywhere. No flipping. And it has been about three hours since I sprayed this Ambassador Intense by Jazada on me. It has softened. It's not obviously as intense. Now, my nose may be accustomed to it. That may be one reason why. But having said that, I still smell it on my arms. It's a very, very... Uh, is it clean? I like it. It's, it's, it's a mature scent. In other words, it's not a sweet, fruity kind of ickiness. And it, it's... I do like this. I'm going to keep using this. Uh, I'm going to get the Jusada Ambassador, the regular. This, I really do like the way it smells on me. Is it going to be a holy grail? I'm not really sure because, you know, there's so many fragrances out there to try. It's like a kid in a candy store. You can go through a bazillion of them and everybody's got an opinion. And the opinions on the Jusada Ambassador Intense are plentiful. There is a, a plethora of them. And the comments that you read under other reviews are pretty entertaining. A lot of people love this scent. I mean, love, 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 love. A lot of people hate, 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 hate it. They compare it to Dior's uh, uh, Sauvage, favorably, unfavorably, all kinds of different ways. I do like it. It's got a very nice, like I said, it's got a mature sort of a scent to it. It's good for someone my age, I mean younger as well, but not too young. It definitely has the sort of mature vibe. Now you may say mature, you may want to say well seasoned, but don't say old. Old is a state of mind. On that note, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Stay lifted, stay well groomed. If you enjoyed the video, please tell us why. If you didn't, please tell us why. And any comments down below are appreciated. You can talk about the weather. It doesn't really matter to me. Just make some comments, make some noise. Let's get the interaction up on this channel so that we can move up in other people's feeds of suggested videos. Be kind to other human beings and their pets, and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, everybody. We love you.